Hi guys, today I'm going to do a product review slash tutorial of these flexible curling rods that I got off of Amazon for like $13. I really like using stuff to try to curl my hair other than curling irons and wands because I have a lot of hair. So I'm not really trying to like have all the blood drain from my arms while we're doing this number. Um, so I've tried the the like long things and you use a hook and you slide the hook through it and you hook your hair and you pull it through it and it springs out and yeah the hook broke real quick because my hair is thick with two C's so these have actually worked pretty cool um they are just rods that you can bend there's no heat involved which is dope so you just kind of bend them like this and you use dry hair. You don't have to sleep in them like some other curling pro um, products. Like I know when I was little, we used to curl my hair with socks. Um, I don't remember how, I don't know what kind of witchcraft that was that my mom and grandma did, but believe me, it happened. Um, I braid my hair a lot so that it will be wavy, but I can't braid it tight enough for like the level of waves that I want. So when Leanne doesn't feel like braiding my hair, um, I'm pretty much on my own. So today I'm going to show you how I use these guys. The best thing about them is no heat. You put them in, you leave them in, you take them out, and then you're good to go. Um, I have slept in these once, but that night I only slept three hours. So, other than that, I just put them in for a few hours. I do whatever else in my life I need to do. And then I take it down and I sleep on them, and then they're good to go. I used these once and didn't wash my hair for like three days afterwards, which I don't do. I wash my hair every day. Um, but by the end of the three days, my hair was fine. Um, it was 50% dry shampoo, but it looked okay. So, these come in different sizes. They're color-coded, so you can use the bigger ones. Like, I never use the biggest ones, or like the blue and pink ones. I don't really use these, because that's just not my jam. Um, I want, like, a tight, tight curl. Like, I'm going for Bernadette Peters. I'm not going for Beachy Waves. Um, so I kind of like to arrange mine in a little workstation. If you don't, um, suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder, then you're free to do it however you want. But I kind of arrange mine and do the thicker ones on the bottom and save the skinnier ones for the top. But you really can, um, use as many or as few as you want so obviously if you are using the thicker ones you're going to get more waves and if you use a ton of hair in it it's not going to be as spiraled and tight but i've put maybe like 10 of them with all of my hairs before and the curls were fine um i'm going to include a link to where you can buy them keep in mind i do not make money off of the sales of these so if you're like more of looking to just financially support me, text me. I'll give you my Venmo. It'll be great. Um, but I'm going to show you the process I use. So step one is brush your dang hair. And I mean, that can be a process. So feel free to pause it now if you need to brush your hair. So my hair is dry or as dry as it ever, you know, really gets. So then you're going to, if you are me, you're going to pull a lot of your hair up and get it out of your way so that you can do this in layers because I could not just start tackling it. So you want to be thinking about how many you're putting down and you want to use a little um, strategery to make sure that you aren't running out of surface area on your scalp. So what I do is I'm trying to start using like bigger sections of hair because if I don't then there's really just no room to put all the, all the little rods. So I'll brush out a section of hair. Um, I use a spray bottle to make it a little damper um, to help hold the curl. I mean, you're recommended to use a spray bottle anyway, but I make sure that it's pretty damp, depending on how long I have for it to dry. So I just spray that, grab one of these bad boys, and start from the bottom, kind of twist it around. 
and then you're going to use your other hair to hold the tail into place. Sometimes it works, sometimes you realize you're not very good at this. Okay, and now the method that I saw in the tutorial I watched was to bend it kind of like an S, and I thought, that's dumb, I'm not going to do that. And then I did it my own way, and it, um, it was an abject failure. So the S is really best. Okay, got another section here. Spray. Spray, spray, spray. I'm going to use a yellow one. So you're basically going to repeat this process on your whole entire head. So that's why I say I'm going to be using bigger chunks of hair than this for the most part. Because at first you're like, oh man, I really want the perfect little curls. And then you do three of them and you're like, you know what, I could shave my head. That'd be fine. Okay. So... Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim. When you've done your whole head, um, you'll notice A, you look fabulous, but B, I like to just like spritz some water again, just to make sure everything is in the process of drying in the shape. And then you can just go about your life, you know, do what you would normally do. You gotta go to the store, you gotta go to the bank, you gotta you gotta date, you gotta go to work. Just act, act normal, act natural. Um, you can blow dry these bad boys if you want to speed up the process. Um, you can wait a few hours. I normally try to do at least two to three hours and that gets me super curly. So you could probably do less, just depends on how thick your hair is and how long it takes to dry. And then you can see what happens. So I'll be back in a few hours and we'll see if this was all a waste of our time. I'm back with less makeup and a different outfit and um, in a different location. It's been a little less than two hours. This is the shortest amount of time that I've ever left them in there. Um, so I'm a little worried. Let's see how it goes. So if you're not watching this video, it's because it didn't work. But basically, you're just going to unfold these guys and then kind of gently untwist and go on a messy thing there. But, oh, you can see that's curly. It's not very pretty, but it's a curl. Um, I tend to have varying degrees of success. So, yeah. so these, what happens here is sometimes they don't stay right where you put them. They kind of fall a little bit. Happens. So as you can see, this worked pretty well. This one is a little lost in the hairs. All right. So now I'm going to sleep on these and style them in the morning. As you can see, very curly, very fierce. Um, and then just kind of separate. I've never put a product on them, but I'm sure you could use some mousse or some hairspray or some gel. I'll just separate them and then go about my business. But this is how to look like me. If for any reason you would wanna, you would wanna do that. If if your vision board is just a picture of me. I would seek maybe um, psychiatric help instead, but these are only $13.